Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for uh, this webinar showing how Satavi can accelerate your academic writing and go beyond um, EndNote. Um, I'll introduce myself and my colleague Simon in uh, a second. Before I do that, I just wanted to go over how you can use um, GoToWebinar. Uh, uh, so right now everyone's on mute just for noise control. At any time, you can type in a question in the question area. So the menu with GoToWebinar is at the top. So there's an orange box with a white arrow. If you click on the white arrow, it'll open up the menu and you'll see a couple things. One, there's a question area. So you type in questions anytime you'd like. Um, and we also have a handout. This is just a, a copy of these slides that you can uh, download. Uh, there's a chat. So I did put in the Satavi website um, for people to go check that out. And uh, Simon might add more chats as we go. Uh, and with that, I will um, <clears throat> introduce uh, both of us. So I'm uh, Stacy Penna. I'm the product and community director here at QSR International for uh, Satavi and Invivo. Uh, and then I'll let Simon introduce himself. Hi everyone, Simon Taylor. I'm account director here at QSR, looking after all of our customers in both the UK and Ireland. So typically, any queries at all you might have, I'm the one to fire them to. Yep, and I just realized I was not sharing my screen, but now I am. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, oh, no, my picture. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I'm going to uh, turn off my webcam uh, just so we can concentrate on the software and the presentation. Uh, so first, we do have a poll. We just want to know, uh, just to make sure we're addressing the audience the right way with our presentation, uh, just asking, do you have Invivo? Yes, you have the latest release, um, which came out in March 2020. Uh, yes, you have Invivo 12. Yes, you have an older version. Or no, you don't You don't have Invivo. So I'm just going to do that poll right now. Now let's give people a few seconds um, to take it. OK, I'm going. Um, close the poll uh, now and I'll share uh, the results. So it looks like 5% have the newest release and then that's like I'll be and then 52% uh, of you have in Vivo 12 and 10% have an older version and then 33% um, uh, do not have in Vivo. So that's very helpful. Thank you. And I'll close that poll. Um, so with that, because we do have so many people using Invivo, I will show how you can export items from Satavi and import them into Invivo. <clears throat> but I'll also show how you can export just out of Satavi into Word and use it that way too for the people that don't have Invivo. So thank you. Uh, so for Satavi, um, Satavi is really um, meant to be an all-in-one reference and writing solution. So, so how Satavi is different from uh, other reference management softwares is it's really going to help you not only manage your references, but help you with the writing process. Um, <clears throat> so I'll be showing you in Satavi how you can search uh, through databases, catalogs, and websites. So if your organization or university has access to ERIC or um, Scopus or you know different types of uh, databases with articles and publications, Satavi can help you bring those into uh, the, the software and start um, analyzing and working with it. Um, or if you have your own PDFs, you can do that too, and I'll, I'll be showing you that. Um, so it's going to help you uh, search through references and full text and also help you analyze with them to help you find those quotes and comments that you really need to use for your literature review or for your writing. And what's really, um, I think one of the strengths of Satavi, it's going to help you create an outline for your paper, for your dissertation, for your book, for whatever you're um, writing with. Um, and then uh, of course it's going to help you with your citations and, and it has, um, uh, hundreds of different citation styles that it can handle. So, uh, you know, we'll have what you need um, for your citations. So then at the end, it's going to help you with that paper um, or dissertation or book that you're working on. So that's really um, in, in a Satavi in a nutshell showing how it's going to help you. 
Um, now, I just wanted to do one more poll just to find out what reference management software you currently use. So I have choices are Citavi, EndNote, Zotero, Mendeley, RefWorks, but because I can only pick five choices, if you're using something else, if you could put that in the chat or the question area, we'll see that. Or if you're not using anything, if you can put that in the chat question. So I'm just going to um, do the poll quickly. And I'll watch that. Okay, so it looks it seems like some, uh, everyone's using something. Um, so I don't see anyone putting in none or another one in the chat or in the question area. Um, okay, so I'm going to close the poll and show you the results. Uh, so it looks like, uh, well, nobody's using Citavi, so that's probably why you're here to learn more about it. And then 57% are using EndNote, 22% Mendeley, 9% Zotero, and 13% RefWorks. So it looks like everyone's using something based on this. So thank you for doing that too. That, that's helpful. Um, and then for those of you who uh, are also um, using Vivo, uh, I just have this graphic to show how Citavi and Vivo can help with your writing process. So think of um, Citavi you're using with your secondary sources. So your, you know, the, the articles, resources, all the stuff you're doing with your literature review. And then Vivo is your, um, you're going to be able to help analyze your primary sources. So the data you're collecting, your interviews, focus group, images, videos, whatever other data you're, you're collecting for your own research, for qualitative research. Um, in Citavi, it doesn't matter if you're doing qualitative or quantitative, it's uh, uh, just meant to help you with um, organizing your references and, um, and then that writing process. <clears throat> uh, so here, if you can see, you can collect sources with both. I'll be showing you the Citavi picker. Um, you can organize um, your references and tasks and plan. And then in Vivo, it's all about organizing your data and your coding. For the literature review, I'll show how you can use the knowledge organizer um, to use as an outline in Citavi, and then within Vivo, it's analyzing your references and data, and you have that um, the uh, the coding structure there. <clears throat> Both can help with note taking, um, you know, with annotations in Citavi, and then memos and annotations in Vivo to help you collaborate. Um, so Citavi does have collaboration tools. It is a, a desktop and a web-based uh, uh, app that you can use and then Invivo has Invivo collaboration cloud and server and then to help you with writing I'll show how you can um, export your work from Citavi um, into Word and uh, Citavi has a Word add-in to start uh, building uh, your um, outline in Word and then um, it's Invivo can always export codes and memos uh, and then where they sort of enter a mix here is around that literature review part, the, the note taking and the writing part here. So again, Citavi is you're going to be using for your secondary literature and then Vivo is going to be more your qualitative primary data you're collecting. So with that, I'll go right into Citavi. I'm just going to close out of the PowerPoint here. And um, so I'm in uh, Citavi the desktop, but you can also, the web version is very similar. Uh, so if I want to create a new project here, um, you can see, you can click on new project. Now I have a choice. I can do a cloud project, which is great if I have, I'm working with a team or a colleague, because then we can both access this cloud project and work with it at the same time. Um, I'm just going to go to the local project here and do, and just give it a name. And so Tavi open. So right now this is a blank slate. I don't have anything in it, um, but it's organized into panels to help me um, uh, organize what I'm reading and um, highlighting. So first, what I want to do is I just want to import some PDFs um, that I've saved on my computer. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to go to File and Import. And I'm going to bring in PDFs, but you can see you have these different options here. So one thing is if you are using other reference management software, you can import your libraries from those other reference management softwares into Citavi. So you're not losing any work you've already done if you want to try Citavi. Um, and I'm going to go to a folder here. 
that I have and it's under documents, it's Satavi, and it's this folder. So I have some articles on creativity and boredom and I'll go next. And yes, I wanna bring these four articles in and then Satavi will start bringing them in. Okay, so I'll click on all and add to my project. It will bring in the keywords that are part of the articles um, too. And you can see now I have all the articles, so I can go between them um, and I can start uh, to reading that, uh, read them. So I can change my view if, it's, if I wanna make it a little smaller here or, or, or make it easier for me to read the article. Um, so I can start reading this article uh, and I might want to start, you know, start highlighting what I think is important. So um, I'm just going to highlight uh, this and I can, you know, highlight in yellow or red. I'm just going to highlight it in yellow. But what's really very strong with Satavi, it helps you organize um, what you think is important to uh Put in your literature review or, or what you're working on. So I have these other options. I can have this part, uh, and I don't have to code it in, I, I, or, or highlight it in yellow. I just did that because some people like working uh, that way. But I can go and put this section as a direct quote. I can put it as an indirect quotation. Um, I can have it as a summary, uh, a comment, and I'll talk about tasks in a minute. So I'm just going to create this as an indirect quote. And I can um, make comments on it. This um, is important. So maybe I want to uh, paraphrase what that is um, and so on. But what's the really strength of Satavi? So I could do that and go through, but I want to start organizing it, thinking about how I'm going to be writing. Um, so if I go up to the knowledge organizer here, this tab, um, I can start create, creating categories or my outline. So I'm going to create a new category and I'm just going, um, so I'm doing this maybe for a journal article. So I'm just going to uh, start creating my categories here. So I might have my lit review. Um, I'm going to have my um, uh, methods. And my findings. And then um, I'm going to add my conclusions. Now, I also, under my lit review, I know I'm going to be talking about creativity and boredom, boredom so I want to add subcategories here. Underneath literature review. Uh, but I want to move that over because I don't want it a subcategory of creativity. So now I have an outline even. Um, and so when I go back to my references, um, I can um, also, let's say, see, I could keep reading them. We'll make this larger so it's easy for me to read. Um, so again, I'm going to highlight this part and um, I want to create it, uh, let's say, as a direct quote in this case. So it comes in as a direct quote. I can shorten the title of this if I want. Um, and I can now add it to a category. So maybe I want to put it under, um, in this case, I'll, I'll pick methods, click OK. Um, I click on the little green um, check mark to save it. Uh, and then when I go to uh, the knowledge organizer, as you can see, that that is under um, a direct quote under the, the uh, methods where I put it under my outline. Um, so now I wanna go back. Um, and so I can keep building on this, right? So I can go and maybe I want to add one of these um, images here. Uh, so I'm going to click on this image square so I can uh, grab what I want under the image and I'll create it as an image quotation. And I can give it a description and also category. So in this case, I'm going to put under my findings. Um, and then I can also common 
method. So maybe again, I want to, I'm just going to add some of these so that, and this way I can also do indirect quotes. So now I can uh, paraphrase what um, I want here. So you can see it starts helping you really with that writing process. Um, and I can do the category again. And in this case, I'm going, um, I'll put under methods again. Um, <clears throat> now I can also uh, assign myself tasks. So if I go um, to the reference and I'm going through and I'm like, I wanna make sure all my metadata here is correct. Uh, so I could assign uh, a task to myself or um, um, a, a coworker if I'm working as a team. Um, yeah, I can, um, you know, say, okay, this has to be done by Friday, click okay. So again, it can help you organize the structure you're doing with um, your writing. So you can see that's my task and I could add more. Um, now, um, uh, I just want to do a few more here just to add more to my outline. So when I export it, you'll see what it looks like. Um, so here's something about um, boredom. So I'm going to do an indirect quote again. And I'm just going to add it to, oh, okay, I'll have to fix that. Uh, well, I'll add it here and then I'll fix boredom because that did not um, save it. Um, so I just see people have a question, so I just wanted to see. Okay. And, <clears throat> um, uh, now, another um, great thing about Satavi is I can actually bring items um, using the picker from uh, a website. So here, if I go to, uh, I'm just in Google Scholar and I've typed in creativity and these are articles that are in 2021. And uh, here's one that I wanna bring in. Uh, and you can see the little uh, Satavi symbol shows up here. So all I have to do is click on the Satavi symbol. You can see it saying, yep, it's on your way to Satavi. So when I open it, um, it's right there. That's the article that um, I wanted to bring in, influences, and now it's in Satavi. So I can go, and again, maybe I need to clean up the metadata, but I can now, so it brings in, if there's a PDF you can access, it'll bring in the PDF right away with the, the references. Now, um, if you have your, like I said, your own uh, library you can use through your university organization, same thing, it will import it and bring in the PDFs um, as long as you have access to the PDFs. So here, let me just pick, um, let's pick this bring in, um, do a summary this time. And get into introduction and save it. Um, so that's really how easy Satavi is to use. Uh, you can um, bring in your own PDFs, you can, and I'll just let's go references um, so you can retrieve by idea you can ID import um, if you uh, there's different reference types you can bring in here and like I said you can go to your the library that you're using and have access to and bring in articles um, so you can see how uh, Satavi can help you um, you know create let me just I just want to edit this so I get it out of. Um, and so I can now, I don't have a ton in here, but just to show you how you can actually export this to Word and start working with it in Word, um, I'm just going to um, right click and say um, export category system uh, to Word. So I'm going to give it. Um, to give it a name. Okay, and I'll just and I'll open for me. 
and you can see it's brought in that outline. Um, but if I go up here to Sotavi, the uh, word um, add-in, uh, it clicks, it gives me a Sotavi pane and I can click on that. And I'm going to pick this project because that's what I was working in. And now it shows me the, the references here, uh, the knowledge items I have that I might want to bring in, um, the citations um, to, whoops, uh, hmm, I should have the citations, we'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, under introduction, um, I just want to put this here because I want to have it come under here and I'll double click on it. And that's all I type, but you can see it brings in um, the citation style too. Now this is just the citation style by default, but um, and like there's hundreds of different citation styles you can use in Envivo. But if I wanted to change it to APA, I can do that and um, it, will, it will change it. Um, and then you can see it's also keeping, starting to create references for me too, as I bring these items in. So let's say I wanna go to boredom, and I'll just double click on that. Now there is, and that's all I type, so that's why it's coming in. So let me go into methods. I had a direct quote, so you'll see when it's something larger, than what I did. Um, and so you can see that was the direct quote, uh, or I, I had come in. Um, uh, now you could do this all at once too. I'm just doing it one at a time. Um, and so on so and and then at the same time as i'm bringing these in it's building my references for me so as you can see why this is a great writing tool um it allows you to do the work in satavi organize it into your um into your outline and then just bring in what you have so that then you can build on what you did in satavi into your draft basically in word um, and I, I didn't do this, but you could also just right click and have it insert, um, bring in everything um, all at once too. I just did it one at a time. All right, so so that's really, if you're not using Invivo, that's how easy it is to use Satavi and uh, get started with it. I'm just going to go back to Satavi. And um, in this case, I want to export these articles um, from Satavi so I can bring them into uh, Invivo. So I'm going to go up to File and go to Export. And I do want to bring in all five references. And you can see I have a choice. I can export to um, in vivo and save text file. So I want to <clears throat> save it as, um, oops. Oh, no, sorry, browse. Um, and I'm going to put it. Uh, right here, I'm going to put it actually in my desktop. Do save. Um, next. Next. And it's been <clears throat> exported. So now I'll go into InVivo. And so those of you who maybe aren't familiar with InVivo, uh, InVivo is used for qualitative data analysis. It helps you manage um, and analyze uh, your, your data like interviews, focus groups, really anything that's unstructured um, and helps you create, um, co-organize the files and then um, also helps you with your coding. So in this case in InVivo, I'm going to create uh, a folder. Um, now I'm gonna call it, uh, Lit review, just so I know it's separate from my own data. And oops, I'm having a hard time uh, with spelling. So let me just go and make sure that's spelled right. Okay. And um, and now I can import the project, Satavi uh, project into InVivo. So I'm going to go to uh, import and you can see bibliography here. So I'll pick Satavi and I'm going, um, I called it Satavi 2. So I'm going to import that. And I like to have it come in with author and name, not just not by title. I find it's easier to organize and I want to select the folder. I want to bring it in under my lit review so it's organized and I'm going to import. 
And so what Vivo's done, it's brought in all those order articles I had in Satavi, but it's also done a couple other things. Um, so if I go to uh, references here, it also brought in all that metadata uh, that was associated with the articles. Uh, so what's nice about this, you can in Vivo then say, after you've done some coding in the articles, you can say, well, I want to see, you know, in this year, um, you know, did people mention things differently in this year when it was published or, you know, did a different authors say different things? So that can be helpful. And it also, when it comes in, brings in um, the notes and the abstracts in the mem in a memo. Because sometimes people like to go through and maybe um, do a, a search through the abstracts, which you can do in Envivo. Uh, I keep brought in the keywords and then any notes about the article. Uh, so now with Envivo, I can I can do um, more analysis. So Satavi so helped me organize it. I put it in um, a format I could uh, create a uh, an outline for. But now I want to do a little bit more with a literature review. So what I'll do is I'll do some um, high just high-end queries here. So one is I can do, for example, word frequency on my literature. So in this case, I'll, I'll select the folder, though I only have one folder in here. <clears throat> so pick lit review. I can do matches, stem words, synonyms for um, the word frequency, and then I'll run this. So it's showing me the top words in my um, uh, journal articles. I can always get rid of one if I want. Maybe I don't want this as, so I can add it to a stop word list. Uh, the and and those type of words are already a part of the stop word list. Um, I can create a word cloud <clears throat> based on these words. So this is a way to sort of um, play and see what's in your literature review and your sources. And so the word cloud, the larger the word, the more often it's used. Um, so let's see, I wanna see what did they say about creativity? So one way I can do that is I can click on the word and then run text search right from creativity. And it's showing me all the sources that mention creativity, but I also have another visual people find helpful called a word tree. And so this is showing me the five words before and after creativity. So maybe there's something that catches my interest here creative have in creative individuals, um, research journal. Uh, so yeah, let's see creative um, individuals. Let's see what they said there. So let's do another tech, run a text search there. And now it's going to give me what they actually said, though right now it's just the five words before or after uh, creativity in, in individuals. So if I want, I can expand that, um, what we call coding or tagging to a uh, broad context and run the query again. And now I can see uh, the whole context around those words. Um, <clears throat> now with Envivo, what's nice is since the software just did a lot of work for me, I can actually save these results as a code. So this is a way to keep all this in one place in Envivo. So um, select I want to put under codes and I'll give it a name. Um, I could give it a description. And that's going to create a code for me here. And then the codes sit here. So you can see it's right, right there. Um, but I could also go right and do a text search from here. So I could go to explore and do a text search. So maybe I want to find where everyone said creative. Maybe I'll do synonyms too. And then run query. So again, it gives me all the um, sources that mention creativity and then it's also giving me the references so what was said uh, about creativity and um, again i tend to do the broad context because i want to get what they actually said around creativity um, and again i could save this as um, a code too So 
So this is how people start, you know, you start using and be able to help them with their literature review um, too. Um, I, I actually used in vivo uh, with my dissertation and I found it really helpful for the literature review process. Um, one reason is I, I had what the experts said and then when I was creating my own or analyzing my own data I collected, I had everything right next to each other. So when I went to, to write about my findings, I could combine those codes based on my own my own data analysis and what the uh, uh, sources of experts said about my topic. Um, now another, uh, just want to show this to you, you can also, so if I pick all these articles, I can also auto-code. So I can auto-code by theme or sentiment. Um, also you can do existing coding patterns, that's if you've coded about 15% of your own um, work. And Vivo will understand how you're coding and then uh, find patterns for you with that. So I'm going to identifying themes, go next. So it's going to go through the articles for me. Um, I tend to do auto coding like at the beginning of a project just to see uh, what was the software scene in my data, um, just to see is there somewhere where I might want to start, and then at the end. Uh, just to see if did I you know reach saturation or did um, you know sometimes when you do this at the end the software shows you something maybe you didn't think about uh, so it doesn't replace your own analysis it just helps you so you can see here I have uh, a, a top code and then subcodes underneath it uh, I'm going to go next and I'm going code by sentences but you could also do it by paragraphs and it is going to save it in a separate folder which i like because i don't want to bring these codes into my own coding i might bring some of them but i don't want to do it at the beginning um so you can see here i have um uh, a, a top node and the sub uh, sub codes and if i click here it just gives me a different visual um and then we also have uh oh, i like this table is showing me all the different articles and then what's standing out. So a lot of them do talk about boredom, which makes sense because that was the topic, uh, creative experience. Um, I can double click on any of these cells to actually get to what they said about experience. So those references, you can export this if you want to a spreadsheet um, and so on. But then it's where it's put the codes here. If I open up codes, it's, it puts it in a special folder there. Um, so again, I might want to go through here and say, okay, at top level, this is what the key things are they're talking about with boredom. Um, so I have a bunch of uh, ways to sort of go through besides just if I go to lit review, I mean, I can also, I just showed you how you can maybe jumpstart looking at the literature, um, but I can also obviously um, code on these articles too. Um, so if I want to talk about procedures here. I can highlight it, right click code selection, and I'm going top and I'd call it um, um, and I'll code that selection. So when I go to codes, you'll see it um, listed, listed there. So you can see then you can code here on this also. Um, Another way to sort of look across your data in NVivo, if I go to Explorer, I can create, for example, um, a, uh, I can do a matrix coding query, but also I'm going to show you a cross tab. I'm going to see what happens here if I do this. So I'm going to bring in some of that auto codes I did. I'm going to bring in boredom and creative. And I'm going to ask it to do the year of publication. So let's see, I haven't done this, so let's see what. So this is files coded, I could do coding references. So this is showing me, um, you know, was there a difference per year with publications? Um, you know, um, there'll be a reason for that just because that's the ones you pick, but uh, you know, it's, it's just a way to sort of look at your data um, in a different way. Um, so you can pick any of these. Uh, that came in with the metadata. Now, um, again, I can also use that tool that was in Satavi, uh, the word add-in. So let me go to codes here, my auto-coded. And so boredom, I'm going to um, uh, 
export this code. So I want to export code and I'm going to have it as a Word document. Open on export, click OK. And so here is my coding, um, but I can use the Satavi pane here, which I already have, and I'll use. So this is the project I was in. Um, so this is another way you can incorporate, integrate what you're doing within Vivo here. Um, so if you know uh, this section has something to do with um, your introduction, um, I can click on that. Um, yeah, that's all I wrote, but you can see it comes in or maybe I would have put it under there and then it starts building that um, reference uh, bibliography too. So I'll switch to APA again. Um, same thing. So I can start, um, you know, maybe I want to bring a direct quote I had in uh, Satavi in here. I can and then it has that uh, the references. So um, now we are working more on more integrations with Satavi and in Vivo. So stay tuned. Um, I can't go into those right now, uh, but um, it's you can see how powerful the tool Satavi is. And then when you also use it within Vivo, it just becomes more powerful with your qualitative data. So I'm just going to go back to the PowerPoint now and show you a few more slides. Well, if you and then if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, so <clears throat> this is just what I showed you in Satavi and in Vivo, just so um, you know have that. Now we do have upcoming uh, scholarly writing series. Uh, so we have two left and they're on dissertation and thesis writing. So feel free to register. The links uh, do work in the PDF handout that we have. Uh, we also have writing groups. So uh, these two researchers, Maria and Rich, are running writing groups. Uh, so Maria is more structured. She talks for 15 minutes um, about writing processes. Uh, Rich is more just open. You have a question about writing. How can I help you? And they're they're both great. So again, this is a link to to go to those and register. Um, they're free, and anyone's welcome. Uh, and then we have our webinar series on analyzing qualitative research after the interview. Um, so we have one on arts-based um, uh, research with Johnny Saldana, Kakali, um, and a few other researchers coming up in April. Uh, and we have the Satavi community. So if you want to find a place to connect with people about uh, reference management with Satavi or, or just writing in general, um, you know, feel free to join. And we want to make sure that you can try um, a Satavi. So if you click here, and, you, and I, there was a link in the chat too to the Satavi website, we have a free 30-day trial and then learn more. There are great resources on the website, uh, great short videos on how to get started with um, Satavi. Um, and then purchasing options. So I think, um, Simon, I don't know if you want to talk more about these. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Stacey. Um, so, as I mentioned at the beginning, everyone, I'm, I'm account director here at QSR, looking after all of our customers in both the UK and Ireland. Um, and there's actually a couple of quick commercial things I want to cover off. Uh, there is a key point I want to make about our acquisition of Citavi in the first place. Uh, we bought them because they had what we considered to be far and away the best reference and citation management solution available anywhere in the world. They totally dominate the German speaking market and, and we knew that we had the global reach to take that message to the rest of the world. What I hope Stacey's demonstration and presentation has shown is, is just how clear that leadership is and particularly how much further it goes in terms of helping with the actual creation of academic writing. Um, I, I do want to add that Citavi works brilliantly with or without Envivo. If you don't need Invivo, you can still use Citavi. If you don't need Citavi, you can still use Invivo. And if you've got a need for both, as, as Stacey showed earlier, then they work together really well. And, and, and again, as Stacey highlighted, we'll be continuing to build out more and more integrations as time goes by. So hopefully, Stacey's presentation means that you now want to buy Citavi. Mm -hmm. So to quickly cover off the options open to you, um, you can buy single licenses, student licenses if you're students, or full licenses if not. You can buy Citavi for the desktop or web. Um, all of the prices and buying process and everything are, are re really easily obtainable from the website. 
Um, I tend to just go to citavi.com as the get to the right page quickly, but there's a, a more precise link there. Um, if you are a university, which most but not all of you are, then you've got a further option, which is to buy a chest agreement for Citavi, which gives you a site license agreement at an incredible price point. Um, if you know what a chest agreement is already, then you probably also already know the right people to speak to. And at least two of them are on this call as well. Um, if you don't know what a chest agreement is, but would like to encourage your university to look at it, then I guarantee someone in your central IT services knows all about it and can help. Um, I'm happy to make those connections for you, though, if needed. Uh, and we'll, we've got contact details and stuff at the end, and I'll stick them in the chat. Um, I'll hand you back to Stacey now, but if you do have any further need to discuss commercial, the commercial side of Citavi, then please get in touch. Great. Thanks, Simon. Um, yeah, I just want to echo it's I'm using it now with the work I'm doing and um, I, I really like enjoy using Satavi. It's really easy to get started. So, you know, I can vouch for that. Uh, and so we just showed you and talked about um, two of our products in Vivo and Satavi, but we also have Sonya, which is student placement um, software. So if you have uh, nursing uh, students, uh, teachers, uh, future teachers, anyone doing clinical work that's going outside the university in a placement um, to learn their craft, uh, Sonia just helps you organize that. So again, if anyone's interested in learning more about that, uh, let us know. Um, but happy to take uh, questions uh, now. Yes, yeah, so we'll send the recording to everyone um, after. It, it takes us a few days to organize it, but we'll send you the recording. Any other questions? Or if you have questions later, um, you, know, you have Simon's email, so don't hesitate. And my email's in the um, in the handout too. Absolutely. Has everything made sense to everybody? Um, some kind of sense of that would be useful. Um, feel free to put it in the chat or, or uh, the question section if you want. If there's anything that's unclear, please let us know. Yeah, and there'll be a short survey at the end too that will, um, you know, give us, you can give us feedback, which is great. Okay, yeah, I think um, Simon, nobody has any questions about the software. Maybe they just need time to check it out. Uh, yeah. And we, we can do these kind of presentations though to your organization or department, you know, if you want to share what Satavi can do or, and also with Satavi and Vivo together, um, you know, just let Simon know and we can schedule something. Great. Well, thank you everyone. Stacey, did you say there was a poll at the end as well? No, it's a survey. So oh, uh, survey. Get the survey once I yeah, end the um, presentation. You. So I'm Thanks, everyone. I'll do I think you did too good a job, Stacey. You answered all the questions. Before yeah. Asked. Well, also sometimes I think it takes when something's new, people have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks, all. Have a great day. Bye bye.